What is this thing bought at a rummage sale in Kentucky 30 years ago? My dad has had this in his basement for 30 years and no one knows what it is. It is made of wood and leather and the rod is metal. The rod spins but is held onto the object with leather. There are wooden screws on the side and the circular piece on the rod seems to be made of stone. It seems very old and does not have any writing on it. Any ideas? Spinner and antique wheel restorer here. What you have is an early to mid 19th century spinning head of a spindle wheel. It's not a bobbin holder. It's the functional part of a large wheel known as a walking wheel. And you are holding it upside down. It's missing the upright post that would come out of the single hole on the side you have uppermost that would attach it to the walking wheel. These were sometimes known as miner's heads after the man who designed and sold them as aftermarket parts for direct drive wheels because with the missing pulleys that should be between the two parts you have in your hand, the miner's head would dramatically increase the speed of the spindle tip, which makes spinning faster. Patented 1810 by Amos Miner on to the early 1900. Help me understand what this is. I found it in a kitchen section of a thrift shop and I am so stumped. It measures 6.5 inches wide by four inches high by 8.5 inches deep front to back. The revolving part is a 7.5 inch circle. The pegs are two inches long and it seems like it's meant to be mounted on the wall. Any ideas? It's a 1970s rotating tie holder. It attaches to the wall or even the inside of your closet and hangs up to 24 ties, scarves, necklaces or belts, keeping them safe and easily accessible. What is this thing I found in the attic of an old house? It closes with a click and it's not a pair of scissors. It looks like you are supposed to put something in it and it then cuts it in half. My first guess was a pill cutter. Any information would be greatly appreciated. It's a candle snuffer with a wick trimmer patented in 1776 by Christopher Pinchback, a London clockmaker. His design both snuffed the offcut wick and through the use of a levered gate, held the offensive black remnant securely, preventing the wick from dropping after snuffing the candles. What is this very heavy egg-shaped item? Probably 60 pounds, and the top part is removable. I've spent years trying to gather information on these. If you recognize it, please share some info. Thanks in advance. That is 100% a lead sarcophagus for transporting and storing radioactive materials. It's old as hell, though modern sarcophagi are painted and have warning stickers and stuff on it. It's a neat find, just don't lick it. The lab where I finished my PhD used an instrument that housed a radioactive source. Our sources were always shipped in similar sarcophagi. What is this antique small silver plate box found with other old bits and baubles? It's clean on the inside with no residue of anything and maker stamps as shown. I'm curious as to its purpose and value. Any idea what this is for? It's an antique Vesta case for holding matches. The old school kind with the wax coating strike anywhere. The ribbed bottom edge was used as a striking plate made by Samson Morden and company. The lion hallmark is British 925 sterling. The lion head mark is city of London and the P in a shield date stamp is 1910. The first commercial friction match appeared in 1826, but it was not until 1832 that William Newton patented the wax Vesta. This consisted of a wax stem with embedded cotton threads tipped with phosphorus. The matches were named after the Roman goddess of fire, Vesta. It quickly became apparent that some sort of container would be required to hold these matches. This was to prevent accidental ignition of the matches. One equivalent term for these containers in America is match safe. What is this wooden box I thrifted a while back? The length is nine inches and the width is seven inches. Somewhat light wooden box, pretty dirty and worn and has no engravings. Any idea what this was used for? It's a pocket watch display. The pocket watch sits in the circular carved area. You can see where the crown and the bow of the watch sits above the larger round area. 
The rest of the box is for day-to-day -day storage, I assume. It's not modern, maybe later 19th century or early 20th. I can't seem to find anything exactly like the box, but I found something similar that was also a pocket watch holder. What is this hollow decorated brass two compartment container? I was given this brass container in a box of alleged Chinese things. It is small and fits easily in the hand. The long thin handle is hollow, as is the small part that looks like the head of a hammer. The hollow areas do not connect, and there is what looks like a loop for hanging on the hinged cap on the long section. And the seashell shape is also a hinged lid. I've searched for incense holders, as that's the only idea I have, but none of them look like this. Any ideas? It's an Ottoman scribe's inkwell and pen box from circa 1850. The long compartment would hold the quill, pen, or brush, and the small box would have fiber saturated with ink. What is this very old cooking device I found in a kitchen in a very old building we stayed in Urbino, Italy? The Airbnb host said the building was from the 11th century. It's made of metal, about four kilos, and enclosed except for the hinged door. It has a crank on top, which turns internal blades. There were all manner of other strange and old kitchen gadgets hanging from the fireplace, and this was one of them. I have been unable to find anything from a Google image search that is relevant. Any ideas? It's a 19th century coffee roaster patented in April 1850. The beans were placed in the round container, then the device was placed on a stove or on a hearth. The paddles inside were turned by the wooden handle to evenly roast the beans. What is this hand-cranked gear mechanism that moves up and down? It looks very old, probably 100 plus years old. It folds for storage, but missing some nuts to hold it unfolded. Approximately two feet long and around 15 pounds, made of wood with rusty metal gears and rectangular when folded. There are no maker's marks on it except for the word Ajax stamped on the metal part on top. Any ideas? Please let us know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.